We are back, and we are back with a classic matchup, Execration versus Blacklist. Like, literally everyone just wants to farm, although that could end with CML here. Absolutely CML. Need to get back and help his carry hit creeps. He will die. CML is able to get away. Tips will take first spot. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> Bottom lane. We're gonna have some action here. Shanks is gonna fish her off onto the Meepo. Palos is gone. Nice pick up there from Execration. Black the Shrivery moving in, Gabby with a very nice arena, catching out the Viper, the 40 taking down Shanks. Well, Viper Tino, he's gonna try and get some damage off before he dies, but he is gone. And it seems as though CML will be soon joining him as well as Gabby. The hand up, lands spirit to the T2 Tower. That'll be CML to go down as Ahmed, trying desperately <laughs> to take the kill himself, but won't quite get it. They will still venture towards the north in that dire jungle. Scan is going to kind of give that information over to Execration and they are still in the that area, though mid lane, Palos is going to go down. Uh, this is not the Execration I know, when they're playing uh, against an ex-teammate. Maybe, maybe they assume Palos will be back in a week, John, you, you never know. Try <laughs> to be nice to the guy. Skew him back from Bob, he's found a movie, this is sick, Timmy, this is going to die. Meanwhile, Gabby, that's a great arena! Gabby's in, CML is down, Bob! Bob is in huge trouble. Bob should surely die. Oh. They missed the swatch, but it won't matter. He is gone. Gabby to the rescue. Oh, man. A triple kill for Gabby. Especially with the eggs and the Yasha. Gabby's gonna just man up and run right uh, That's probably because Gabby. Right? Gabby, obviously daisies. That's all right. Palos is here now to try and intervene and help him get a bit of a trade going. But Tino's a bit too tanky. In fact, now Palos is the one in danger. Has to go for the Mega Meeper to back off, but they do land a nice fish up. Bob could go for a skewer, but the lift up from Tims is going to ensure he cannot. He still holds on to the RP though, so go on to Arbed instead on the Pango. Arbed has been blown up. That is the first one. Can they get him a second time? We'll land the stun onto Arbed, but he does get the swash away. Go forward, set up the angle for the Arena Spear, and it falls apart without that initial control to set up for Abed to play off the back of. So Shanks has been left behind. Gabby was in thank you very much. Drops the Arena as well, just in case. No problem. <laughs> Sink to him as well before he dies, why the hell not? Smoke out on Gabby and Zims. Oh, that's a beautiful angle here for Abed. Gets him the high. No, he doesn't get him the high ground. Tino will not be so lucky. Still stuck in the arena, Tino is somehow alive, will go for the Viper Strike, here comes Bob, looking for Gabby, does commit the RP, he's only got one, and now Tims, he'll take the RP away, finally Tino goes down to the backside, and somehow Gabby will survive another day. Zabed now, rushing forward, will take down CML, looking at the Shanks as well, does get him. Find a, an amplified damage room for Gabby. I feel very, very nice for the Mars. Well, the great smoke. CML gonna narrowly avoid the rolling thunder. The thing is, they have found Tino on the Viper with Palos right on top of him. He's in pretty big danger. Tino is forced to try to fight back, but he is down. Nice start to the fight once again here. More Blacklist rivalry. Gabby's having to look for more. Arena is down. Only really catching CML. But it won't matter. Still find, a get, still find a secondary kill though, Arbet. Oh. He will be dragged back into the loving arms of Krish. Very far back, in fact, that Arbet is going to go down. So Bob with a very nice turnaround there onto the Panko. However, uh, oh, Gabby. Gabby's diving in pretty deep huh? for this one. Oh, oh, oh. Tims! Tims in with the RP. Netting the muff. Palos, he'll clean up here. Bob still actually gets a skewer away. Krish? Can Krish clean up perhaps? Meanwhile, Gabby, he's found CML again. CML still alive somehow. What, what is this game? What are they doing? <laughs> Tino he coming back. In. CML is somehow not dead yet. Finally does go down. Gabby should die. Chris will take his life. Meanwhile, Tino's going to go on to Tim's. Tim's trying to TP away. We'll actually make it. But might die in oh. the fountain and he does. Oh. <laughs> uh. Palos. Help Blaine. Actually kind of surrounded here. He realized he's walking right to Shanks. Sadly, Shanks does not have the Echo available, but it may not matter if Palos is completely alone. We're trying. 
is going to try and turn this one. They've got one Meepo. There is his team moving up slowly but surely. Palace is playing a lot of time. Arena is down, but he's losing one of the Meepos and it's gone. Palos will die, Gabby, he was trying to get there in time, but now he might be in danger. Last of this rivalry, they will lose too. Oh boy. That's, uh, that's very throwing. I have no idea what happened there with Palos, like, not catching that last Meepo, did he? Surely it wouldn't have been him leveling up, getting the level up point while he had Mega Meepo. Oh. <laughs> he's talking to <laughs> CML, setting up a blind team for Palos, Palos not going to know what he's CML that messes up the boss. Alos, who actually does look at the wisdom of the techies. No, will eventually die. Questionable, in my opinion. It's crazy to run right in. Marina is down. Shanks does get caught out, but they missed the spear, so Shanks is able to keep going. Oh, he oh, is out from Bob. He's caught a couple of them. Meanwhile, Krish, where is Krish? He's alright for now. We'll move back in. They've got Palos down to boot. A beautiful setup. Out from Bob and Shanks. Gimmies are incoming. Blacklist, they might want to go for a fight. Didn't mind Bob, he's with the skill plays already. Carlo, be targeted here by Tino. A nice mission coming out from our Shaker, holding down a couple, though Tino may have gone a bit too far. Arben, in the meantime, gets the wrong thunder off in time, so he is fine. He survived that skewer back from Bob. Marina down. They really want that Viper. Tino dropping a little bit lower, still pretty damn tanky. He's just stuck between a rock and a hard place, but a blast off. No! The Mega Meepo! Not gonna allow the stunts to come out. Krishnell is in the awkward position past the Fisher, but he will still survive. Is now Gabby? Oh, that's a quick, that's a quick silence. Gabby could not spear anyone back. Bob misses the skewer. Meanwhile, Palos back in on Tino. The Tino, he'll cheese up. He'll survive another day. Palos, he'll go for the dig. He'll try to survive the old fashioned ways. He does get out eventually. Nobody died. We've got steady push coming out from Exit now with a shard being up in Tino. So, if you just leave him alone and the poison attack kicks in. Eno, Eno does get caught in Arena. I set up for Gabby. Eno still proving to be the big tanky boy, though. No serve for those time. Misses out on us for Tino. Might just go down on the Viper. And he is finally down. There's now Blackness. They really want the fight. A nice fuel from Tims onto Shanks. Shanks will go down as the second. Now they're onto Krish. He does BKB TP away, though, and does get up. The Alchemist is okay. He has the minefield sign ready. Oh, we go. Oh, oh no! Oh, Bob, he gets a little bit too excited. Rena's down. Gabby, make the jump in on the CML. CML is eventually going to be chipped away at. Krish does jump in with the chemical rage. Palace, in the meantime, will go after Bob. Nino getting to work onto the Meepo, but the Meepo will just go for a run. While Arbet going for the rolling thunder, but does also just look to retreat. We've had a lot of options. Oh, and again, they want to fight now, the chemical range is firing. Hino is being targeted, the minefield side has been activated, it does nothing. Arbet though, he does actually go down. They have got the Pango. Arbet, maybe overextending a little, extending a little bit. Yeah, very close to it. So they still have that. Pretty good defense of this, not that it takes long at all. Free Ags to give out onto Bob as well. So like they move up a little bit too far. Palos. Meepo with the hooks of it instead, in fact, it's not Viper getting jumped, Tino, oh, now the slam! slam! Oh, what a slam coming in from Shanks! Oh my god! He found everyone! Gabby and Palos both going down. They both have Viper. No need to commit to my thing. They have to stop this. There are two lives on Tino, he doesn't care, he's gonna be sticking up front, they know no slam and RP. It's an opening for Blacklist to try to make something happen here. Both of them being committed, that mid rack one hit away from dying. Tino desperately trying to hit the melee barracks. Finally does get it, but he might just die through this. Meanwhile, they do find CML. They're on a bob now. Bob forced the BKB to skewer away from Palos. But now they've left Tino behind. Meanwhile, Krish, he's also kind of been left behind. But he'll be able to BKB and walk away as the Fisher does come out. Tino is taking a fair bit of damage. Is back anyone going to help him out? Tino, he's surviving. He gets the bloodstone off. He will heal up through all this. Meanwhile, the skewer, Bob, he'll drag him out of the face. Palos, he's dropping pretty darn low, but gets the dig off in time. He'll survive another day. Meanwhile, the Meepo coming out. There's your blast off. CML holding them down. Can they deal with the Meepo though? Palos, he's just so tanky. Krish. But Tino eventually him. gets it done. They eventually get it done. The diebacks are there. This game is over.
I think game one is going the way of execration. And what a fight it was. Blackfish Rivalry trying their best to capitalize off the buybacks. But just execration unrelenting in this game one. We are going to game two here between Blacklist Rivalry and Execration. And it is MLP Dota and John X Fire. I say that, Shanks is still getting plenty of info. They might just end up going after Tims, who's a very easy target on the line. Shanks is going to set up. Smart Race is going to be there as well. Blacklist Rivalry is going to be handing over first blood. Patino of all people. Well, there you go. That's not the start you wanted to give over, but a bit of a chase on for the uh, the healing lotus here. Everybody just a bit slow to the party. Shanks trying to steal it away. We'll instead go after the killer to onto Carlo. And Carlo, he'll go for the cold of praise. He does still have his Lotus available to him as well. Shanks, has he gone too far now? He'll go into the Indus and does secure us. Now, Palos, I don't know if you can actually trade here, sir. He does not have Bash available. Oh, it what, is what, not sealed up. Palos! Oh, Palos run! Not like this! Oh, oh no! <laughs> and wait for that blade mail timing. The fight up the Wisdom Roots here. TML. Let's just take it away, so two wisdom roots to go the way of execration. Rish under a little bit of threat up against Gabby here. He certainly is. Spear is back up. Rish will have to take the spear and does go down. Point. They've got room to shove in mid. Abed by himself. Can't really do much to stop this, but Bob. Uh, they have jumped Tina with the proto and the arena just to ensure they secure the kill. Carlos very well worth his time in trouble. Breed fire and wave clear coming in from Carlo as well. With the uh, splinter blast does make it difficult. I'm fine. Jumping. Carlos, it's okay. Shanks the one to go down first. Carlos still moving in. Ooh. However, you know, oh, Palos actually died at Krish. Krish moving in as well with the shadow step, but now will Carlo definitely not going to survive through this. Neither will Tim's by the looks of it, because Krish is on the chase. Spark Wraith will land. <laughs> Beautiful rotation into the Spectre just to really clean up and... As you're also waiting for level 6s on the supports who are spotted out here. They are. Gibbs. I think fairly low. We'll use the Cold Embrace. We'll buy him for a little bit of time, but I don't think too much. to see him. I'll just kind of blast off right in. Takes it down. Gabby is going to be able to react now, taking down the Spectre. So it was a very, very nice turnaround play here from Blacklist Rivalry. Chase, Shanks, and CML both looking to die now. CML already going down, and Shanks does get into the Invis, but the Sentry is there, and the Bash comes down. Ooh. Right as, as he was on the edge of that Sentry as well, by the way. Jump. Meanwhile, mid lane, Gabby in danger, but now the Chrono. Palos going to go right after Tino on the Arc Warden. Has got the real one. Tino in huge trouble. Going to try and walk away. Meanwhile, the curse up from Carlo locking down Bob, ensuring no help is coming. Latino now to drop. Bob does escape. Coming out for Exo, they will camp around for mid. Blink RP still ready here. Certainly is. Last off, Arben, and he targeted. He's got the Spirit Vessels to get really through his HP pool. Tino, they're just trying to break the gap right now as Arbet, less than half HP, is still running just fine. Meanwhile, Gabby comes in, but the RP does land from Bob. They've caught two of them. Gabby, though, he's got the arena down. He'll go right after Tino. Bob, in the meantime, has gone. Tino still trying to fight this one out. It's absolute chaos in the mid lane. Who's winning? There's four heroes gone from Blacklist. Uh, it's very difficult. Alphon has to do it. <laughs> uh. lane. Oh. Mid lane, smoke broken. Bob, he jumps into the immediate hex out. He could not get anything on. Oh, Another chrono. It's going to catch Torb of Palos. Does he have the damage? Meanwhile, the curse on the backside holds everyone else back. CML almost going down. Does survive for now. Bob is going down. The Tims is down a boot. Meanwhile, CML does finally drop. But there goes Carlo. Another very messy team fight coming out. So it seems like Blacklist might eventually come out on top as they do have Shanks in a bit of a corner. They do find him. Palos with another kick. Bob picks away. Gabby unable to catch him. He will skewer back towards his tier 1 top tower. Meanwhile, mid lane. They have caught themselves on Arbet Dragon Knight. Arbet past the river by himself. 
is going to be set to go down. Tino with the Spirit Missile again, just able to deal with him quite easily. Meanwhile, Tom, still chasing onto Gabby. Bob does get an RP, but the curse is out, ensuring Gabby is able to walk away. Here comes Tino. He will not land the Spark Wraith on Gabby. Gabby will be able to blink and get the hell out of there. Chrono's back up. You've yeah. got the opportunity for Blacklist now. He's still stalking him. Gabby has been noticed. Bob kicks around. Skewer is going to land. No, there you go. Tino takes the kill. He is going to make it tougher for Gabby as well. He kind of finagle his way into catching the soccer targets a little bit. Oh! Alice, they want to go down? I believe was spotted there by Shanks. They know that Arbet is by himself at the moment, though Arbet does retreat into the, the Radiant Triangle. Meanwhile, Bob does get his smoke broken by Carlo, but he's screwed away. In comes Arbet now with the Dragon Tail onto Shanks, so Shanks will be just fine. Retreat for Gabby, will jump in. They still want the Bounty Hunter. Talos is slowly moving forward, but he's been RP'd up now. The curse is going to hold them down for a little bit as Talos will have the chance to beat him in time walk away and get the Chrono off onto CML. The CML, he'll remain alive for now as well. CML is not dying. He'll walk out of there. Talos, oh, Palos. Palos is the one in trouble. What? Talos is gone. It's the point where the output is starting to keep up on Blacklist's end. Execration, look at this position though. Right around the mines with a ward, although. Yeah, oh man. They are gonna jump in. They are avoiding the mines altogether. Bob is just gonna get annihilated here. They try to go for that cheeky skewer black back play into the uh, proximity mines, but they're the ones to get jumped first. So Bob, pretty big death to kind of give away for Execration. They are gonna chase another in fact. CML also caught out. <laughs> what Tino will go for next should be the Galapnir upgrade for his Atos. And from there, kind of open. Although, Gabby, they are going to find the Tempest Double. It was expiring anyway, so they don't really get any gold for it. Gabby, let's jump half moon there, skewer back from Bob. Gabby will pop the BKB immediately. Meanwhile, Trish has jumped the backside trying to find that Wyvern immediately. The Wyvern dropping pretty darn low. Carlo, he is gone. He will buy back immediately into the fight again. Shanks, caught by himself behind the T2 Tower on the bounty. He will go down, but Execration, I mean, seeing the buyback they got out of the Wyvern, it seems like they're okay to retreat out of this. You should blink out. No, so trying, to, timer. trying to find the corner. Oh, Bob, he went for the Healing Lotus. Still skewers away, blink up in three. Find the BKB, needs to be forced to Palos, he'll go through the, B the uh, Chrono play. CML's gonna show up and try to help out. Bob, he does have RP if he wants to commit it, but he's just trying to back his way out, and Bob is gonna go down. Now Carlo, he's gonna curse on the Tino! Tino will be the secondary one to fall. Execration still trying to fight this one out, but they've lost two already. Chris even in there as well. Oh, no. A very messy engagement, Ooh. still Palos has been caught somehow. We'll be able to time walk away though. Here comes Gabby again, double stun out. Chris is proving to be a little bit too tanky however. They'll have to leave the Spectre alone. They are going into Roche first, no threat of that Chrono anytime soon. They've got enough damage to clear through Roshan. That's going to come with a with banner as well to aid the split push of Tino. Find everything. Uh, What's happening? We're in Southeast Asia, Mike. This was I, happening I, yesterday, too. I... Trish oh. is gonna jump in now. Tim's... Is he? Eventually, surely. There we go. He is down. That could lead to him finding the two lives of Krish, but this bot set of racks looks set to fall. Oh, no. Abed? Abed? Yet. Spear out, Tims. He just fought back into the fight. He does not want to die like this. But it looks like he may have no choice. They will commit the RP just to get rid of the lion and get a die back immediately onto Tims. Now a 4v5 scenario in the favor of Execration. With Chris with an Aegis up, it's basically a 6v4. If you really think about it. Who else have they got? Gabby. EKB's up. We'll try to run. Gets a spear off onto the Spectre. But Chris is no a very, here. very tanky boy. Chris has not even popped the blade bell yet. He just doesn't feel a need to. Sacrifice the Tempest Double. There goes your bottom rack. Well, well, well. Execration. One rack's ahead now in game number two. And it, it's going to be rough. Blacklist. I mean, they still have... They still have this chrono. They still have this curse. Oh, yeah, well, they did. They did 
did have it, John Mercalo is down. Maybe they can find the bounty hunter, but he's just so tanky. Shanks is surviving. Palos is the one to go down. Palos, he will barely run away, but the barrier is just too much. You might even have to rely on Finger to clean up some of these tankier targets. But I know. Full Ags up on Tino as well. He's got the Spark Crate spam to fly out. Oh, God. Yeah, he, he just keeps sending in the, uh, the Tempest Stubble with the Ogre Seal Totem every time it's about to die anyway. There's no cares in the world. There's, oh, no. Carlo gets caught by the Skewer of Bob. He doesn't need to the curse. Now, Palos, he'll go, for the, he'll go for the Chrono, but it's just not looking great, Tino. When he's dropping lower, maybe they can find the Arc Water, but no, he just jumps away with the Ogre Seal no Totem. Come Palos, on. he's still trying, but it's not working. No way. The RP is out. The RP is out. They've got Palos. Palos is down. Arbet desperately trying to get away from this scenario, but he is not looking too healthy. He has gone a boot. Carlo down, it's over. You've got to the call it. Next. They've got to call it. Oh, the <laughs> old chat as well. Oh, what did he yikes. say? What did that he say? You're, you're so tin. You're so tin. <laughs> you're not fat at all, Palos. What's happened? Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, okay, one by one. All right, yeah, tip me one by one. Let's go. Hey, go, go one by one. Oh boy. Oh, Gabby's gonna try one place. last time. The fan of the ancient is exposed. Arena down. Gabby annihilated. And GG well played his call.